this special edition of Today, Australia has elected a new Prime Minister. It was an outcome economists and data strategist Elisa Choi has been predicting for weeks. Elisa joins us now. The Labor win didn't come shocked to you. <laughs> No, it didn't. Actually, we've been calling that it was going to be a uh, Labor minority government with the help of independents and Greens or a slim majority. So what data did you use to, to reach this result? The way we, we analyse elections is that we're using open source, publicly available internet data, websites, blogs and social media. So essentially we're analysing what people are engaging with online and measuring the emotion in the content. And that's how we predict how people will vote. You mm -hmm. also predicted several key seat upsets. How many of these um, were accurate? Well, on my count, so far, I've got 16 out of uh, about 26 that we've been looking at. Mm. And, and some of them were the upset seats. So they weren't in the media spotlight, but we've been monitoring them for the last couple of weeks. So it's about the momentum in the sentiment and the shifts over time. And that's what actually tipped, uh, you know, some of the calls. And, and you made some big calls too, right? Calls with big swings. Yeah, they felt really big, didn't they? Yeah. But um, And a lot of people were questioning whether or not that I was correct, but we always go back to the data doesn't lie. Uh, we, it's not our first election that we've looked at. Mm. Um, and ultimately, we're just honing in what people deeply care about. It's the emotions that drive people's behaviour. And in this election, there was a lot of emotions. You predicted it could potentially set up Australia as an example to the rest of the world of how democracy can be done better. What do you mm. mean by that? Well, in the uh, first couple of weeks of the campaign, it was very, very clear that there was a great disillusionment towards the two major parties and also the way in which politics and government was run in this country. And so as we saw the teal wave rise, they were picking up the engagement through this sentiment that we, we analysed. And so it's, a, it's a, an example of how democracy can be run better because if the two major parties don't serve the people, well, we've got uh, independence. Yeah, Elisa, well, well done and yeah. thank you for your time this morning. Yeah, victory lap Yes. Morning. Thank you. <laughs> Take it. Yeah. Uh, for more information, you can visit elisachoy.com.